Well, good morning. Welcome back to Not Just Stuff. Kicking off with chair number one. Getting out here a little bit late this morning. We uh, woke up and we had new inner in. I was like, what's going on? Thought it might have been a, saw that the router was out. Thought that it might be a fuse. Wasn't, ended up being a GFI. I had broken down some things over the weekend uh, and left one of my tools where the sprinklers could get it. So it uh, triggered the GFI thing. So I had to crawl and get that turned on this morning. And we picked up an AC over the weekend. So we had to, uh, oh, look how big that bird is. Um, so we had to um, pick up, we picked up the AC, so we had to get rid of it. So here's the sealed unit from it. It's gonna hang out there till the end of the day. Warning. So we got chair number two and chair number three over there. It's pretty sweet. Look at that. What's that thing in the back of my cart there? We're gonna come here and see this bird. You remember the bird we saw last week? The little baby bird? He ginormous. This might be a different one. I don't know. It's been, could he have grown that much in a week? I told you they grew fast. I want to say there was a pair of them last week though, right? I don't know. I figured I see a lot of them, a lot of different sets, but this is a neighborhood that we had the one where I had the bad lighting. I thought there was two babies, a parent and two babies, but this guy's bigger. See how big they get though? We'll come over here and we'll take a gander at them. Nacho nature! Look how bicky that one is. See, he's like half the size of mom and dad. See how fuzzy he is though? Still super cute. <laughs> so, uh, that's how fast they'll grow. We'll have to see if the other ones are, they were back a little bit further in this neighborhood. That might not be the one we're talking about. We'll find out. Onward. This is pretty gosh darn sweet, guys. I was concerned when getting out here late. I'm like, oh, I hope everything's not gone already. I was actually like more concerned about the garbage guys beating me to stuff this morning. Because they start in this particular neighborhood. Every time I shoot for a trip and fall. Um, they start in this neighborhood. So they haven't got out here super early this morning, which is good. Yeah, yeah, I still don't know what this thing is or what it's used for. <laughs> it's already buried, I know. What are we, gonna do? we weren't going to use it on this anyways, right? A lot of people ask why our people down here don't take the doors off. I don't know that it's required or not. I know a lot of states are concerned about little kids crawling up inside of them. I guess us Florida kids are just smarter. <laughs> oh, that, that should stir the pot a little bit. Um, I don't know. I don't know that it's the law. But most people don't, I can tell you that. Have to walk this up from this side so we don't lose our insides. All right, you guys get back in. Whoa, whoa trying to tip over on me. Stink wad. I think we're making it today for Shurzies. Ooh, plastic, plastic, plastic. What is it there? More of that house. And that's a big doll house. This one I believe is going to be aluminum. It certainly looks it. Doesn't look like much, but I see aluminum. That table's going to be. Oh, it's concrete, I think. Your place tag. Yeah, 
You are. Oh, I'll take this. You wood or metal? Nope, you're metal. Use metal. Maybe even aluminum metal too. Come on. Everybody in the boat. Think it's a vacuum? Yeah, it's a vacuum. It was laying over the top of the suitcase. I wasn't 100% sure. You in good shape? Um, you got all your wheels. You got all your zippers. You're a keeper. This goes to my thrifting lady. She's always looking for suitcases, especially nice ones like this. And just like that, chair four, or four, no, five and six. <clears throat> Got our chairs. Nature, nature. See there. I know, Mama. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get you. Wait for him to screech. He's mad. Much better camera angle. Much better lighting today. Look how cute they are. They're not quite as big as this ones over there, but they're close. I hear you going. I hear you. That must be mom. You want a screech? Come on, give me a screech. There you go. <laughs> I, I trained them. So cute. All right, let's go. Bye, guys. Just beat the garbage guys to this one. They might be the leafers, too. Oh, they're the leafers. These are all going to be aluminum, too. Yes. Take aluminum chairs, four pack. <clears throat> Maybe this should have been the chairman of the day. Oh my gosh, look at all these chairs. Craziness. Oh, come on. Come on, twist. There you go. Yes, they're reefers. <laughs> Don't call me a reefer. Ugh. What kind of aluminum today? All right. Onward. Dang, you guys in your plush. I gotta look at him, make sure he's not nasty. What we got here? Oh, we got an elephant. He's missing something here. I don't know, is that? <laughs> I'm not taking it. It's got that one blemish. That could make the difference of selling it and not selling it. Oh, man. You know what I realized too? We haven't seen the deer in a couple of weeks now either. This is one of the lakes they normally hang out at. That's not, that is not deer over there. Get some, uh, metal studs. Looks like they took down an archway. Oh my gosh, these are actually pretty heavy. See, they're essentially hollow. All right, I'm just gonna walk up to this next one versus driving up one house. I'm hoping these are aluminum and not steel, but uh, it's looking a little dicey. Well, they might be aluminum. Oh yeah, they're aluminum. Sweet. Oh, 
Onward. Oh, I thought for sure I was getting burned. I went past the street that way and I was like, oh, there's something down there. I know, I was being lazy. And I was like, I'm gonna get down there and it won't be a box. It's gonna be a box. It wasn't, it was the little fridge. <laughs> oh, I thought for sure I was gonna get burnt. Onward. Heck yeah, we'll take an old pool heat pump. Ah, oh, there should be like a, just a boatload of copper in there. Beautiful. You come around to the other side. You can, right there, we'll use you as a handle, right? Oh my gosh, you're heavy. Kappa, kappa, kappa. Kappa, 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 kappa. You squish your back. Put you right there. Come on, go. Come on, shaky, shaky. Here we go. What's going on here, guys? Let him down. There we go. Rest that's plast hack. Onward! Let's see what we got here. This looks like a surround sound speaker. And a little uh, iHome thing. Nope, nope. Ooh, that's some brakes. I think. Yep. Some brakes, you got any more brakes? Any more brakes? That stay the steer right there, I bet. This brass. Brass and stainless steel. That one's gonna be done. I know, I don't know what I'm gonna take to tile. Last time I took tile, I took a ton of it and it sat in my garage forever. This is a little bit uh, fancier of a tile. Four by four, right? Tumbled marble. Yeah, four by four. I don't know that five boxes is enough to do anything. This is floor tile here. FloridaTile.com, 12 by 24 those ones are. Just one box though. Well, maybe somebody else can use those before it gets scooped up. Onward. Hey, hey, hey. I think we got a fan here, guys. And we do. Maybe even a pair. The old plastic. You guys can come. Oh boy, we're a fan of fan here at Nacho Stuff, so please take a moment, smash that like button, because that's what we do when we find a fan. Hashtag, fan of a fan. I could not deduce what was in this pile. I felt like there's like a wire, but I think it might just be bags. Yeah, dang it. Been done tricked ourselves a twofer and this lamp okay good plastic on the top it's like oh waiting for that the thing to fall it's plastic okay we slide right in there like such and then we've got some bed rails and an ikea pole IKEA uses those in like almost everything they make. <laughs> uh, you can put it in there like that. And Mr. IKEA. 
you in the same general vicinity. There we go. I think I'll take a little stereo system with remote. Come here, Captain Yamaha. It's just getting ready to start raining too. We just saved you from the rain. Let's look her up, guys. Cinema DSP. Looking good. Onward. Get some more of these metal studs. I guess Airway did a little bit of renovating this weekend. Feed these in some of the voids we've got. Big old void from that patio thing. Dang patio furniture. might be salvageable. Is that metal too? No, oh, paper plates. Oh, yeah, where are we going to go with you? Right there would be great. <laughs> Shit, we'll go right here. chairs we found today is astronomical. This might be aluminum too. Oh, for sure she is. Wow. And a lot of aluminum ones too. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice stuff. Even like such. Sweet. KitchenAid we didn't get the other day. Yeah, it is a KitchenAid. I wonder if you work. Oh, take you guys too. Whoa. We got loose, loose screws. You're gonna have to come up beyond our brother. Oh, I found these uh, spiked peach juices. 
slightly expired. But does, does that stuff really expire? Come on. I don't think so. It's best buy. Especially when it comes to bottle or canned goods. I'm sure the guys the the guys at the yard will appreciate it. it. Doesn't look amazing, but you just never know. What's in this box? Nothing. Nothing in the drawers. It's... <laughs> oh, aye, aye, aye. We've been foiled yet again. Dang. We're going to take another flyer. We've been here at this place before. That was Bridge. This is Kim's office. Come on, Kim, have some nice stuff. Oh, gosh. I think it's just shredded paper. <laughs> yeah, just shredded paper from Kim's office. She must have had some pretty sensitive material. What you got going on here, Kim? Hey, Kim has a little piano. Christmas cards, newspaper, ooh, a coin purse with all the monies in it. Ready? Pachow! Oh, what do we get? A penny. A copper penny at that. Hmm. I think this is an old. This looks like a. Ooh, that's all brass. So it's been trying to rain for the last couple of hours and uh, just hasn't been able to do it yet. Keeps trying. Look at this, guys. The snake cube. I like that. Coloring manual. Nothing else. What do we got in here? Nope, you're empty. Okay, we're going to take these guys. Brass. This is actually just scrap because I have a little uh, board in it. I want to check this penny out. I think this penny could be worth millions. I just don't have good enough eyes to see what date it is. 1970. Come on, man. <laughs> Onward. Not much, but she'll count. Man, look at our look at our stack going. Yeah, baby. Got a nice mess going today, don't we? It's Monday for you. Where are we gonna put you? Uh, we're gonna put you right here. You get up in there as well. Go. <laughs> Got ourselves a picker here. I just heard from Kev. Kev's like, did you get that pool heater? You stinker! <laughs> oh, look at that, we got, we got lights, Christmas lights here too. Come on, come on out, bro. We're gonna have to put some more straps on all of this. Kev's actually not even going to ENH today. He's gonna go down to Titusville, get a couple more dollars, get a little bit more money. I think he said he's getting 50 cents more a pound out there. Pace setter. What is that for? Looks like a blade. It's not a blade. What, what are you setting the pace for, man? Anybody? Pace setter. What is that? I feel like it's a crimper of somewhere. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look that up. Actually, we're going to put this in the bag before we, before we lose it. I don't know. I feel like that's something. Pace setter. Look it up, guys. I don't know. Could be nothing, too. Are you middle? No, we are middle, too. Sweet. Got ourselves another fan. If you forgot to 
mash that like button. You can do so now. I'd appreciate it. Oh, we keep trying to find little holes in here. Little tiny holes to fill up. Uh, it's not gonna, oh, there we go, perfect. Oh, you can come off even better. I didn't want you really anyways. Ooh, aluminum ladder. <laughs> what is strapped to the side? I don't know. We'll figure it out. I got a tree. I picked up a tree without you guys seeing. Because it was just a tree. We're still getting Christmas though, guys. this a couple of poles in there and uh all the christmas lights i want that hole right there <laughs> getting up on my good space okay all right christmas lights and a couple poles we get out of here these are those falling lights they go i know We look like we have a lot, but this thing's pretty dang fluffy, guys. I thought something fell, but it did not. All right, let's move. All righty, guys, we made it to the yard. We got ourselves unstrapped. Oh, we're gonna start getting all this stuff off of here. Let's we'll go over here with our uh, what's gonna be our aluminum pile because we got a lot of it. Come on, guys, open up. I got all kinds of pressure on this gate today. Yeah. Due to the way we packed her. This is coax cable just so everybody knows. Got Keb over here with Jimmy. We gave Jimmy our drinks. I asked him if they wanted it while we were waiting to get in here. And he's like, yes, I want those. So Jimmy Dunn got them. I'm gonna hang on to this whole thing. Get a little bit of this wire, what do you think? Just the ends. What do we got pushing on here still? Anything? Yeah, we still got something pushing on it. here to get to pull through. Thank you. 
Shoink. Alright, let's get rid of this. We'll make our keto cut. That other, I had a, found another re, uh, there with one of the trees I had. It had a brass, a brass horn on it. It's like a little piece of brass. How cool is that? Mm. All right, and these gutters are aluminum, correct? Yes. Yeah. Thanks, Kev. <laughs> uh oh. There's our magnet. We already just put him on there. Oh, there's another. Said bungee. My car, he says, I'm like, what is going on? Stop falling up my trailer. <laughs> Dave's coming to get his car. You guys see that? Somebody?
Sun's baking. That's gonna be a limit on that supply pole. How about looking at it?
<laughs> there we go. I guess we're taking that whole thing. I didn't check this. Feels pretty heavy. She's still. That's Dan. Gonna check that pole. That's all aluminum that we're keeping. Just gotta knock a couple things off there. Maybe I'll come in for the pool pump. Maybe I won't. We'll see how hot and long it takes. I'm just gonna get all this stuff back up in here then. I'll see you guys over at Jeffers. Let's do some NFJ! Ooh, look at all those transformers. Oh, right. Sell those electric motors? What is that from? That's a motor. Well, what's that from? Why don't you pick it up? What? Why don't you pick it up? I will. <laughs> so, I can, so it can fall out. Then I'll cut one end off. The copper, then I'll burn it. Oh, I did those are heavy. At least 25 pounds a piece. So is... Once you get the asset cut off, just stick it in my trailer. We'll be good to go. I don't think you're carrying it with a handle that in one spot. That's 1,300 pounds consolidating in one spot. I could totally do that. We'll figure it out, Jeff. Just put it over the axles. We'll be good. Take me a cushion. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. Oh, who got this awesome grill? Wow. Where do you want to start, Jeffrey? Dirty? Dirty? Dirty. Why? Jill didn't, uh, never mind, uh, whatever. Is this light or clean? For extrusion? What would it go like like this? Is that still clean or is that dirty because of that? Oh, too tired, man. Kit and caboodle. Oh. What? Oh, I got tired out there. I didn't get my fans done either. What about that there, Jeffy? Oh, 
That's uh, a motor, a uh, heavy, uh, I don't know, something, right? It seemed like a something. Oh, I stuffed in the back of my car, Jeff. This is still dirty, right? Sure. What? Well, that's not brass. God, you're killing me, brother. Dang it. Yeah. Come on, man. Did you get the other sink? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, this is clean. Where you want it? No idea. It held up a pair of pants. It held up a pair of pants. What's the biggest difference between chemistry and cooking? Uh, your wife? <laughs> <laughs> In chemistry, you should never lick the spoon. That's true. What's the downside to birthdays? Downside to birthdays. I don't know. Too many will kill you. My turn signals. My, my battery's all gummed up, man. I don't know. What do you use to keep your egg from falling off? Bacon. Igloo. Igloo. <laughs> what do you call a root cow? I don't know. Beef jerky. Beef jerky. You've done that one. Alrighty guys, we're waiting to repay. We have two receipts because they forgot that I was there this morning. So we're going to uh, start off with the shred from our second run because that's the way they were put in. It's kind of weird. So uh, our, our load of shred from the day, 1,200 pounds, six cents a pound for $72. And then we'll get on to our first load of shred, which was just dropping off the stuff from over the weekend. It was the shelf from the AC and some other tidbits. I just wanted to get empty. I'm glad I did because we needed the space. So second or first load of 10, which was uh, the second one we've mentioned, 320 pounds, six cents a pound for 1920. Then we had all of that dirty aluminum, all the chairs, all tons of chairs that were aluminum, all kinds of stuff. 116 pounds, 20 cents a pound for 32.48. We had the sealed unit off the AC, 82 pounds, 20 cents a pound for 16.40. Electric motor was the off the pool heater, 22 pounds or 17 pounds, 22 cents a pound for 3.74. We turned in some uncreamed glass just to get rid of it. Seven pounds, a buck a pound for seven bucks. And clean aluminum were the gutters, uh, one of the poles he considered clean. And what else do we have? We forgot our tabletop in the yard too, which was aluminum. We had something else clean. 32 pounds, 40 cents a pound for 12.80. 
for a grand total on that one of 91, 62 plus 72. So we have like $160 a day. Pretty solid. We'll take that any Monday, man. No real pickers though. That was the only thing that I missed. It was really a bunch of just ones and twos. It wasn't too exciting, but it was great weight. So uh, we'll take it and we love to have that pool heater as well. Hope you guys enjoyed today's run. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up before we get out of here. It's not just stuff, but that doesn't mean you can't take someone else's trash and turn it into cash. So until tomorrow, be safe, be happy, and I'll catch y'all then.